Welcome to Happy Eye Flip Shelf and Skin. Yay, today is Friday, July 2nd. Second. This is Grandma and Grandpa's wedding anniversary. 55 years it would have been today. That's a long time, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hi. Do you have another good week at camp? Yeah. Yes? Wonderful. Did you do anything fun? Yes? Yeah. Good. I like it when you have fun at camp. What did we do today? Take a walk. What? I picked you up at your dad's house, and where did we go? Mason and the hospital. Mason and Animal Hospital and picked up some food for Shiner, and then where did we go? And it got at. Stop at what? Tennis. Tennis. I know. Not every one. Not every week. Not every week, no. Just every once in a while, right? <clears throat> Mom got a new ball machine. I should say we got a new ball machine because Every you know what? For a while. Every once in a while we'll go play. He got to play with it more than I did. Was it fun though? Yeah. You hit the shit out of that ball, dude. You did. Should I post a little video of you hitting the ball later? Susan tomorrow. Yes, Susan tomorrow. Mom, Mom. stay home until Susan. Well, I don't know. Mom kind of wants to go hit tennis balls when you're with Susan tomorrow morning. Every Saturday. I don't think it'll be every Saturday because it will always be weather dependent and dependent upon how mom feels. But every once in a while, yeah, mom might go do that while you're with Susan. Is that a big deal? It's nice out time at time. If it's nice outside, yeah. Mom's get home when well, Susan attend. Yeah, do you want me to stay home? Is that what this is about? Or can mom go play? M mom will. At house ID. Oh, I, I will make sure that you're set up and you're good to go. And I don't think anything's going to go technologically wrong. Okay? Okay. If, if, if that's the case, will you be all right if mother leaves you here with Susan? Yeah. Yeah, you're awesome. That's wonderful. Here's Shiner. Mom likes to leave. I like to leave. No, it's not that I like to leave you. It's that sometimes I like to go do stuff. And when you're busy doing other things, those are good times for mom to go do some of the things that mom likes to do, right? Mm. So it kind of makes sense. All right? All right? Are you down with that? You cool with that? Can I get two thumbs up? And a peace out, mama. Would you like to pick a deck of cards today? We're going with Namaste, mm. Blessing, and Divination cards. All right. I can be down with that. I can be down. Does this one come with a book? Nope. No book here. This is just cards. I don't know if we've ever done these. Have we ever done these before? These are pretty cool. Of course, we're going to pull a card. And here's how these card things work. In case you've missed an explanation in previous, in previous happy hours, right? These cards, whatever card Jacob pulls 100%, without a doubt, in some way, shape, or form, is appropriate for us in this moment. It is also appropriate for you. You may just have to think about it for a minute to figure out how, but I promise you, it is. You know how I know that? Because you're here. There are no accidents. <clears throat> there are no coincidences. Everything that happens in this world is happening for a darn good reason. I believe that. Do you believe that? Are you with me? Yeah, I think so too. I had a, I had a, she's not really a psychic, an intuitive. She told me, you picked me, Jacob, because you knew that I would take good care of you. Is that true? Is that true? Yeah. These are very pretty cards. They're all different. That's the one? That's the one. Here's Ganesh. I like Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. That's Ganesh. All right, which one did you pick? Hmm, that's pretty. Oh, it looks, it's a fall tree. Isn't that gorge? Just gorge. I love fall. What's your favorite season? All of them. You like them all? You don't like spring, summer, fall, or winter? Which one's your number one? 
Winter. Winter? You like winter? Do you like it when it gets dark early and when it's cold outside? Yes. Whew. Okay. Are you ready? This is the blessing of oneness. Bring your awareness within and connect with the eternal you. Love, abundance, and blessings flow to you. Feel a deep sense of peace. Feel the oneness, the clarity, the perfection, and the love that you truly are. Does that all sound like stuff you could do a little bit more of every day? Me too. Me too. I can think of a couple of ways. This is so true for me. Right now, the eternal you. The eternal you. Not the one sitting here having a hypochondria attack, thinking every little sensation in the body is a terminal illness. <sighs> right. Right. Do you want to show everybody your fanny pack? How nice is that? What's in that fanny pack? I think it's if this is my fox and twinkle nails. That's <laughs> everything that you used to carry around in your pockets, right? But you'd put it in your pockets and, and what would happen? Your pants damn near would fall down all the time because there was so much weight in your pockets, right? Right. And that was a problem, wasn't it? You want your pants falling down in the middle of Kroger? No. You want your pants falling down at school? No. Want your pants falling down when you go visit the new Q102 studios? No. So we get you a fanny pack. Now, if you really like it, do you really like it? Then mom can start getting you, you know, maybe special one around Christmas time. It's got a little Christmas flair. Would you like a little Christmas flair? You want to wait and see? Mom, maybe I'll show it to you before I buy it. How about that? And then you can decide. Happy 4th of July. See you next week. See you next week. Thanks Have a game. good one. What are, oh, are we going to do it on Wednesday since we're going to be out of town on Friday? Yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll see you next Wednesday. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Peace out.